Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a glossy box versus, well, birch bag this month to be honest with you. Um, for no particular reason, the birch box this month has came in a bag, it's like a neoprene good size for a holiday bag now that we're at the end of summer and we're not going on holiday. So, not really sure what the logic was there. So I know a lot of people in the US do these versus videos and I don't believe that Glossy Box and Birch Box tend to be in the same one over there but they are actually the same price in the UK. Glossy Box is 30 pence more expensive for postage but um, there's a very visible reason for the postage being a bit more. So I am going to start with, I'm going to start with Birch Box. I am being optimistic that I will get some Colourpop in one of these this month because Colourpop just expanded into the UK and what better way of getting your products out there and wanted by people than putting them in glossy boxes and birch boxes. So I got the yellow coloured, yellow and grey coloured uh, bag. Um, to be honest, I, I do not like the feel of neoprene, um, but let's see what we've got. So the little booklet that you get is um, very folded up. So each of these are £10 a month and then either two ninety five or three twenty five postage. So I don't usually read the little book that comes in the glossy box, to be honest with you. Um, I prefer finding it was in the bag by taking it out and looking at it and occasionally shoving it in my face. So, okay. Oh, that's a good start. There's a perfume sample and it's loose in here somewhere. There we go. So this is... English Laundry. I have heard of this brand before from other people's unboxings. Um, English Laundry Notting Hill Femme. So it doesn't seem to tell me what the, the notes are, which is good because I'm rubbish at that. It starts very fresh and then it goes into a florally... Hmm. I'm... Not the biggest floral person to be honest with you, but I will definitely give it a go and see how it sits on my skin and stuff. So, so let's see. Oh, cool. Right. So I did know that there was going to be a Marcel eyeliner in here. Everybody was getting, I think it was a brown or a plum. Yeah, espresso or mulberry. Um, I was keeping my fingers crossed that I would get mulberry because I do not wear brown eyeliner. And I've lucked out, and that's very smooth and creamy and very nice. Okay, this will definitely get some use. Um, I'm going to try and work out the prices for all the different samples and we can do a, a price comparison. But that's not really how I judge whether they're a winner, it's whether I'm excited about them. So we've also got Anatomical's The Buff Stuff Citrus Body Scrub. If you've had enough of your skin being all rough and your epidermis is as tough as a Scotsman called Macduff, when it should be as soft and as smooth as a delicate cream puff, then this is no salesman guff or marketing fluff. You, my dear, need the buff stuff. God, they put a lot of effort into what they write. Um, this is one of the very jelly-like um, exfoliators that are generally not that rough. Um, Definitely a very delicate citrusy smell. It's not really one that I would say is going to properly wake you up in the morning and get you going, but it's nice and I will use it. So then we've got the Philip Kingsley One More Day Dry Shampoo. Um, always handy to have around. Uh, this is apparently scalp refreshing, soothing, leave-in dry shampoo. Don't know if it's my hair or my scalp that's being soothed. I've never really considered my hair to need soothing. It's okay. Um, but dry shampoo is good. Philip Kingsley is a decent brand. Can't go wrong. So. Ah, very, very good. Merci, handy. New Wave. Hand cleansing gel. Um, these aren't as easy to get in the UK as they are in America. We do not have Bath and Body Works, so we cannot get all the ones with the yummy smells. Um, I do not have a clue what that's meant to smell like. I actually have to look this up now. Oh, uh, apparently there was three options, so they're not going to tell me in there 
what that was meant to smell like. I'm going to Google it and come back to you. Okay, the internet is not helping me with what this is meant to smell of, apart from, apparently, uh, love and its new weave. So it's a fresh smell, but I have absolutely no idea what it's meant to smell like. Um, the ingredients list didn't help either, it just said limonene and parfum, which covers anything that smells. Um, so, yeah. Um, useful. Anyway. And lastly, we have, ooh, a matte finish moisturiser. I do have oily skin, so I will always welcome a matte, mattifying? Matte finish moisturiser. And the fact that this appears to be a natural brand is very interesting to me. I would love to try and use more natural brands, but I never really get off my backside and actually look for it. So this is made in England, I've got 10 millilitres, and to be honest, I just think the bottle's cute. Uh, or the tube is cute. It's maybe got a slight floral scent to it, nothing too strong, so that's good. So there we go, glossy box, we have got skin care, hair care, body care, body care, little bit of makeup, and a bonus perfume sample. So. I would say that's not bad. I am pretty glad that the eyeliner was the colour that I was hoping for. But let's move on to Glossy Box. Nine times out of ten, I prefer Glossy Box. Um, I'm sure it's a special edition this month. I can't remember what it is, but the card inside will tell me. I'm sure there's also a really expensive brand of bags that does this with your initials. So, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's their fifth birthday, that's why. So they're now officially old enough to go to school. Um, ah, and it's Ray Feather is the brand that does the the bags with the initials like that. So as ever, we've got our our cute packaging. Um, Glossy Box definitely puts more effort than Birch Box into their packaging. I'm sorry, it's it's just cuter. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, right, let's start with we have. Cowshed Wild Cow Invigorating Body Lotion with essential oils of lemongrass, ginger and rosemary. Okay. Ooh. That's interesting. I can't even decide if I like it or not. Um, I do think it's going to be annoying to use though because there's no kind of flip cap or anything like that. Um, and the bottle's not particularly squidgy so I'm going to end up shaping, shaking that like a tomato sauce bottle. Um, why not? Best comparison I could think of. Mud Masky. I'm not being immature, it genuinely says Mud Masky. Um, facial Detox Purifying Recovery Mask. pH balanced, pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening and smoothing. Wow, that does everything apparently. This will be interesting. Um, and not tested on animals. Bonus. Uh, this is the one thing that bugs me about the fact that I still get Glossy Box and Birch Box. I'm not guaranteed products aren't animal tested and I wish they would make that an option on your kind of setup thing. If you agree with this and you're subscribed to Glossy Box, every time I get a product that I know is tested on animals, I put it in my review bit so that they know that it matters. So looking forward to using this. I do love a good mud mask. It's got a little foil seal on it so I'm not going to open it just now. Continuing with a slight skincare theme for our fifth birthday, we have a deep pore cleansing facial, facial brush and massager. Um, this is one of the manual ones rather than the electric ones. It's got a little cap on it which is kind of interesting and doesn't want to come off. There we go. I was pulling the wrong way. Okay, um, so this is how it's a massager. It's got these plastic firmer bits down there. I can't even try. I can't even get a hold of them. Okay, they're very, they're very rubbery and quite soft. So this, this is going to be quite a nice feeling actually. Okay, I'm so trying this later. Um, uh, it's going to be very nice for removing that mask actually. Mmm, a mud mask and then brushing it off. Um. Okay. 
and then oh the wee caps a stand as well that's neat okay I like this um this is apparently 6 99 for uh, if you just want to buy it so Andy's looking for a wee facial brush and doesn't know how to store it in their bathroom this one has a stand I'm gonna stand it on my table Okay, maybe not. It only stood on my hand and doesn't stand on my table. It's too back heavy. That's a shame. Oh, it's not flat, that's why. Hmm. Darn. So much for that plan. Okay. We also have a Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette. This is all natural colours. I have to say I have... I think this is my fifth natural coloured eye palette from subscription boxes and natural eye colours are not generally my cup of tea and I'm fairly sure I said that in my kind of sign up that I liked adventurous and bright colours so I'm going to need to double check that and see if I'm imagining that I put that in my glossy box kind of quiz but yeah I'm I'm a bit bummed by this if I'm perfectly honest I'm trying to have less makeup in my collection uh, but I have a couple of friends who I think might like this, so they can have that. And then we have a little glossy box makeup bag. Just a little canvas one with the initials again. That fits in with the, you know, the feather ray theme of the box. So technically, technically glossy box, you only gave us four beauty samples. And... That's cheating. I'm sorry, it's cheating. You're meant to give us five beauty samples. Um, you've gave us four. Okay, one of them is a palette and technically has 12 eyeshadows in it. Um, mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't choose to have a makeup bag as a sample. I think everybody has plenty of makeup bags. Um, and I certainly wouldn't have a beige canvas one because it gets bogging. Um, so, let me see. Now that makes it a close call for me because I do like the face mask and the face brush from the Glossy Box one. But I'm excited to try the moisturiser in my birch bag. I really like the eyeliner in my birch bag. They actually gave us one more sample than we're meant to get compared to one less. Um, I think I'm going to actually go with uh, the, the birch bag this time um, over Glossy Box. I feel like I've betrayed Glossy Box on their birthday, um, but no, I feel like I've not been listened to about what my likes and needs are, and I feel like I've been given one less sample than I'm meant to have. So big win for Birch Box. I'll have links down below for signing up to both these um, boxes. You don't have to use my links, but the Glossy Box one gets me points, which is eventually going to lead to me getting a free box, which. Yay! Although if you have a friend, you know, use theirs. Ask your friend for theirs and get them the points. So, I'm relatively happy with both, I'm going to be honest. But see the glossy box? There's this Makeup Academy palette in the pamphlet. If they gave me that one, I would have been pretty happy because I do like a smoky eye. And that is definitely a smoky eye palette. <sighs> oh, oops. Apparently we had the chance to choose our favourite and I missed it. Oopsie. Um, well, it's only a £4 palette. I might go and get that, actually. Okay, I am now waffling, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!